Mesh Tools is being updated with brand new features and powerful updates to existing tools, giving you even more control over procedural modeling and abstract animations. With the brand new Mesh Tools Point Project, you can project any object or spline onto the surface of a scene object. Let's take this text spline, put it in our Point Project, drag in our rock as the surface, change the mode to plus Z, and now we're going to project the points of that spline to the rock surface. There it is. We can adjust the blend, which will take it back to its original position or back to its projected position on the surface. We can animate the rock, let's rotate it. And yes, that projection remains consistent. If we go to a camera head on, we can see that perfect projection. And now let's use this to drive a Nexus SIM. We'll activate this emitter, which is actually emitting directly from the point project object. And there we've got this really cool particle SIM of the being emitted from the surface of the rock from the shape of those letters within the word. Let's have a look at this on some scene geometry then. We've got these three capsules in our point project and let's have a look. Our mode is set to parallel plus Y, which means they're pushing up onto the surface of that rock if we move it up, very cool. Right, let's move it down, change that mode to minus Y and now they've been projected downwards onto the surface of our rock. We'll just flip that back and put it on the plus Y. Let's reposition our rock and now we'll see that we can animate this projection of the object's points onto the surface of that scene rock. Surfaces can be animated with keyframes and in this case a couple of deformers. Let's have a look at our point project. We've got this animated cross as our object and we want to project this onto our surface. So we'll just increase that blend up to say 97 and now we've got a really nice point projection of that animated geo onto this animated surface object. Now let's have a look at the improvements to Mesh Tools Subdivider. We have the original bilinear mode of procedurally subdividing objects, but now we have four additional modes, including bilinear offset. This enables us to offset those subdivided polygons for some interesting tiling effects. Like all of the mesh tools, we can drive this using fields and here shaders. Here we're using this gradient to drive where our subdivisions are taking place. Let's change that to circular. So we're emitting the subdivisions from the center of our plane. We can now layer this with other mesh tools. Let's put this in an animated inset and we're getting this cool procedural animation. Let's have a look at another new mode, this time shards, which subdivides each of those parent polys into these adjustable shards with a detail control spline. Let's set that up again, put it in our animated inset, hit play for these nice shard effects. There's also Whirl Mode. This creates some interlocking outer polygons. The Strength Slider adjusts the size of the inner polygon and animating it gives these nice results. Let's put that inside our inset animation to see that offset. And of course, this remains procedural. You can adjust and even keyframe and animate these various settings for different looks. Let's layer up an additional subdivider to demonstrate the final mode. We can add some nice Catmull clock smoothing with this specific mode. So we're going to put our inset as a child of our new Catmull clock subdivider. And yes, look, we're getting that really nice rounding of our offset. Let's try the same smoothing, but change the base mode. We'll put it on shards for this look. And those are the four additional modes to the Mesh Tools subdivider. And this, of course, can be layered infinitely with all of the other Mesh Tools for ultimate versatility in procedural modeling and animation effects. These new additions to Mesh Tools subdivide, along with the brand new Mesh Tools point project, are just some of the improvements to this amazing procedural modeling and animation tool. And they're coming soon to Insidium Fused.